waiting for viewers. Addiction. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want this kind of heart attack. You're live, we're building an audience for you. Okay, I haven't just done this in a while. <clears throat> Okay, finally. All right, so hey everyone, um, it's Lex here, and I know we've, got, we've had like about a 15 minutes delay. Sorry about that, uh, the pizza took its time to get um, delivered. And today I'm gonna be speaking to Priyanka Karki. Um, I have, just to give you a gist, a uh, background about this interview, I'm gonna be asking a lot of silly questions to Priyanka because I feel like she has been asked and continues to be asked so many um, serious questions or questions about Nepali films and her journey so far. So today um, I've compiled about 70 questions. This is inspired from Vogue's 73 questions and hopefully you enjoy those questions and if you like then you can drop a comment or question below as well. Um, okay and if you're enjoying this uh, live feed then you can also share it and help us reach more viewers. I will also ask somebody else to share it from my page and before I hand this over to Lucky say hello to Lucky hi <laughs> okay let's go there we are oh I'm all right <laughs> <laughs> as you can see that's Priyanka Karki right there hi hi Priyanka hi how are you I'm good I'm good so basically um I only told you about us doing this 73 or 80 questions this mm -hmm. morning um, are you ready for it? Yes. Are you um, happy with answering any difficult questions? Absolutely. Okay. Any controversial questions? Yeah. It's fine? Yeah. It's okay. Fine. So guys, if you have questions that, you know, I um, won't uh, ask uh, her enough, so then just drop the questions below and we can um, ask her as we go along. We've got pizza here. That's why it's called Pizza with Priyanka. Um, she said she likes chicken, so <laughs> it's a chicken pizza from Domino's. No product placement there. Um, please take a bite first okay. before we start. I'm gonna take the smallest one because he's fed me so much ever since I got here. This is round two, but that's why yeah. that's why we're late, by the way, because she took her time eating. I know, but this looks delicious. Okay. Uh huh. I'm gonna choke with my mouth full. Too lucky. Have you shared it on the page? Yes. Thank already. you. Already. I've shared it too. Published. Already. Okay, now we have viewers. <laughs> um, here we go. <clears throat> so, Bianca Karki, the country that you like more, USA or America? <laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> the world wants to know. Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to pick, you know? Mm, yeah. I have so many memories in both these countries. Yeah. It's a, can I come back to this later? Okay, we'll come back, we'll come back. All right. If you had to listen to only one musician for the whole flight, who would it be? Beyonce or Rihanna? Oh, Rihanna. Always. Momo or Chamin? Momo, bro. So where do you find the best Momo in Kathmandu? Um, for a very long time, it used to be upstairs. But then upstairs remodeled and became something else. And I don't quite like the vibe there anymore. So I don't go there that much, that often these mm -hmm. days. But it is. Yeah, they have one of the best Momos, I think. Been asked. I think what you just asked, the first question. <laughs> 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 Alright, I, I still haven't got an answer, so we will I'm come back to thinking, that. I'm still thinking, it's such a difficult question, it's like I'm giving my PhDs, you know? Okay. I really okay. have to think of all these different states in both the countries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and who would you like to make your Hollywood debut with? Um, Keanu Reeves. Is this already supposed to have happened? <laughs> yeah, that, that's my second question. I was going to ask you, how was your Hollywood debut with Keanu Reeves on April Fool's Day? Yeah, we were supposed to start that day, but then... It got postponed to next year's April 1st, so... And a lot of you asked this question, so what's your favourite Snapchat filter? Um, I know everybody thinks I use the dog filter too much, but I'm a dog person, I love Snowy, and I just seem to love that filter, I don't think there's any harm in that, that's my favourite filter. There you have it. So do you believe in ghosts and spirits? Yes, I do, absolutely. Have you ever seen a ghost? Not seen, seen, but witnessed, um funny, scary movements and stuff. So I don't know if it's for real or if it was just me or if it was just me thinking too much because I watched a horror movie. Mm -hmm. But I have had these, ooh, yeah, moments. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> dead or alive, name three celebrities you'd invite to a dinner party. They could be from anywhere. Uh, okay, Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. 
TikTok, TikTok. No, I mean, this is like, You don't I have the privilege of time. Okay, Britney Spears, Priyanka Chopra, Prabhu Guru. All right, yeah. that, that's a good three. You know, I can help cook. I can help bring <laughs> pizza. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. Okay, so what's the sexiest animal? Um, it's a cat. It's a cat. Okay, yeah. can you do a meow? Yeah. Let's help you do it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think we weren't ready for that. <laughs> Only after 10 p.m. All right, so um, somebody asked me this special question. And the question is, can you try the Dabur Lal Danta Manzan ad for tagline? I believe you must have done an ad once upon a time. Oh, I'm still the face for Dabur Herbal Toothpaste, so. Dabur Herbal Gel Toothpaste. Ding! <laughs> hey, diamond here this time. Yeah, I wish I had special effects there. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, your Nepali film industry crush is? It has to be from inside the film industry? Yeah. It has to. Oh, it has to. It has to. Okay, uh... I'm taking too long. I know. Yes. I'm so sorry. It's, um... Oh, I know. No, I, I don't think. Uh... Are there not that many good-looking people? <laughs> no, no, there are, but then yeah. uh, it's just so difficult to pick because it's like picking between the U.S. and America. You know? It's yeah, like, yeah. It has so That's many a very mind-boggling question. Yeah, it really strains your head. But uh, my crush yeah. probably is um, Diane. Right there, you go. So many people got answers to so many questions right now. <laughs> yeah. I think. <laughs> And more questions. <laughs> All right, so I'm uh, easing down with uh, your favorite uh, Kardashian or a Jenner? Oh, it's Kylie Jenner. Kylie. All right, Bradley Cooper, Brad Pitt, Ben Affleck. Who would you snog, marry, or avoid? Um, Brad Pitt, marry, and have babies. Yeah. I just added that. Yeah. Who are the other two? Ben Affleck. <laughs> ben Affleck and Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper, snog. Okay. Uh, so then you would avoid Ben Affleck. Uh, That's no, your answer. <laughs> That's yes, your answer. Okay, the last person that Priyanka Karki texted. You. Oh, okay. Who okay, okay. <laughs> Apart from me. <laughs> Obviously, I was giving you directions. Yeah. But before me. Before you, the last person I... Oh, it was my brother, because it's uh, Raksha Bandhan today, and oh, he's yeah. in America. <clears throat> Or is he in the US? I forgot. Yeah. He's in New York, yeah. He's in New York, so I, yeah. I texted him. I spoke to him a while ago. All right. So your most frequently used emoji. And can you act it out? It has the wink. No, this one. What is that? Is that the tongue out wink? No, it's the... This wink with like uh, eyebrows, I mean, lashes and lipstick. I haven't actually seen it. Oh my God, how can you not see it? Okay, okay, I'll show, show me. You. What phone are you using? Samsung. Are you allowed to use that phone? Yes. But what phone are you endorsing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is family, so... Okay. Priyanka Karki is going to show me her favorite emoji right now because clearly it might be because I don't use Samsung. You know that so moment when you can't get things right when you actually have to? Don't panic, don't, don't panic. Yeah, Our viewers are with us. And if you guys are enjoying the question so far and you just have one burning question you really want to ask, then just drop it down below. How can you not know oh, this Oh, okay, one? okay. I don't, I don't use that emoji. I don't kiss people a lot, so... Yeah, it's kiss yeah. with a wink. So it's like, kiss but don't tell. It's like <laughs> double the flirting. Yeah. Anyways, um, moving on. Um, okay. Oh my god, where am I? <laughs> Alright, so your upcoming film that you're most excited about? Uh, can't speak. It has to be both Takapanda and Priyanka for only reasons. Can you tell us the release date? One is uh, September 9th and one is November 25th. And the biggest challenge that you faced in your career till date? Biggest challenge is I think having to live with uh, everything that's thrown upon at you and still remaining sane. I think that is the biggest thing that is thrown at you every day. So how does Priyanka Kaki remain sane? I just laugh it off, ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> or make sarcastic replies. Yeah. <laughs> High five. Um, all right, so next question. Um, if you were a Spice Girl, what would your nickname be? Um, I don't know. I could be Baby Ginger. But I mean, Ginger Spice or Baby Spice. Oh, okay. That's why I said Baby Ginger. So what? Baby well. Ginger. Yeah. All right, so you just created your own Spice yeah, Baby character Ginger. girl. <laughs> and who would be in your Spice Girls? The five uh, girls? Can I just randomly pick? Yeah, you can pick random. Okay. Your friends or any other Nepali actress. Okay. Sahana yeah. would be... I think she might be watching right now. Yeah. Sahana um, is going to be one. Yeah. Um, Namrata is going to be one. Uh-huh. Kiki is going to be one. Kiki probably could be Baby Spice. Yeah. Uh, three. Who 
can be um, Malika Didi would be one. Ooh, or, what 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 would Malika Subba be? I don't know. Maybe she would be uh, posh. Posh. She okay. has the whole image. Yeah. And then I'd be one. Obviously, You'd be one. I'm Five. gonna be in it. So. Wow. Five. This there is like go. Taylor Swift squat squat, <laughs> <laughs> but Priyanka Khaki squat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And um, all right. So which Nepali celebrity's wardrobe would you raid if you could? Uh, I'm not intentionally taking a lot of your name, but it has to be Sahara again. I think she has one of the most beautiful collections that I see mm -hmm. every day that she wears. So. All right, and the most replayed song right now? The most replayed song right now is Too Good by Drake and Riri. Good choice, good choice. If you were banned from using social media for one week, you would? Die probably. <laughs> or if not, choke, get <laughs> paralyzed, handicapped, go All mental. Right. Any of these could happen. And millions of followers would also be like dying along with her, I'm guessing. I don't remember um, the last time I was in, my phone died and I was in panic yeah, for yeah. three days. You don't want to see that side of Priyanka Karki, by the way. Um, yeah. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time around in the I UK. Um, and your favorite Nepali song right now? Right now has to be Syndicate. I love that song. By Bipul Chetri, yeah. Yes. Okay. I would say Neera, obviously, because it's my song. And I would say Chakra <clears throat> Pandati songs, but I'm trying to be, get beyond my own things yeah. and pick out something else, but it's Syndicate. All right, so were you a Backstreet Boys girl or an NSYNC girl when you were growing up? Oh, Backstreet Boys forever. And your favorite Backstreet Boys song? As long as you love me, me baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> that is my favorite song. Yeah. And what was your first job? My first job was, I think I worked in the like showbiz media when I was a very little girl, when I was seven years old. <clears throat> so you can consider that as a job because I was yeah. paid when I did my first film, so I think. What did you buy with your first salary? That time I don't really remember because I was uh -huh. really young. I think my parents took the money. But the next time, <laughs> next time when I uh, worked was when I did my first music video when I was not even Miss Teen Nepal. Uh -huh. When I was offered a music video randomly when I was going to school. So for that I got. So what? Paid. What happened? Please tell us. You were walking to school and you I were offered a music back. video. I was coming back from school in Safa Temple Number no. Two because that's what took, that I used to take to <laughs> yeah. go to my house. And then I was with my friend and we were laughing and making random jokes and there was this one girl who was looking at me and I did notice but I just thought maybe she just loves my smile. So, it's okay. <laughs> so I kept on doing what I was doing and then so when my friend got down, when it was about time for me to get down then she spoke to me and she was like, um, I'm actually working with a new music company and we mm -hmm. have a new singer and we're trying to do the video and I think, you know, you have a very beautiful laugh and this and it would be really nice if you could do it. I got scared. I thought it was some kind of, you know, somebody trying to kidnap me or yeah. something going on. I would take the car or they would tell me to go to their place or something. So I just ignored it and I left. Yeah. Went back home. Turned out that that girl's niece shared the same bus stop with me when uh -huh. I was on my school. So, this is a long story, by yeah. the way. So one day I met her again yeah. <laughs> at the bus stop. Okay. And then so she gave me a card and I was like, okay, maybe it's not that bad because uh -huh. the kid goes to Atmangla. So then I took the card home, thought about it, asked my parents. They approved. Voila, boom. And now Voila. we have Priyanka Karki, one of the biggest names in oh. Nepali film, showbiz industry, killing everything that she's doing. And what was your first job when you went to America? The first job was I was a waitress at a Mexican restaurant. That was the only job I did for a very long time. I mean, except bits and pieces of other things. I used to go dog walk and I worked. Glamorous. With, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> many things I did, but my consistent job for almost three and a half years was waitressing in a Mexican restaurant. All right. And um, when was the last time you paid? Uh, with your own money for an event ticket. Don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> the life of Priyanka Karki, guys. And um, when was the last time you Googled yourself? Oh, I do it every other day. <laughs> How does that make you feel? <laughs> Let it all out. <laughs> I know. How does that make you feel when you Google yourself with the things that you um, discover? No, I think I basically Google myself to see how much of the things that is there is actually real. That's okay. what bothers me. It's not about reading the comments or reading what people have to say or what the content is. But it's just if a lot of the things out there are not who I really am, or people are making it up, then that bothers me because that's another side of me that doesn't exist. Uh -huh. So I don't think it should be out there. Yeah. So that's the only reason I check yeah. Google or YouTube or whatever I can of myself just to make sure what is up there for everybody to see. All right. Um, so do you stalk people on social media? Um, time and again, maybe. Not stalk, stalk, but just to see what they're doing and how everybody else is doing in their lives. Kind just of like one of us. Yeah. Um, if not in films, then what would you be doing? I'd probably have a career in dancing, maybe. And the best way to make Priyanka Karki happy? Is, um, I don't know, there's so many ways to make me happy. Just compliment me. That's the easiest <laughs> way and yeah. it doesn't cost you as well, guys. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and a film that you would like to have done? Um, Any film, Nepali, uh, Hindi, 
uh, Hollywood. Okay, um, from okay, I'll just pick from Hindi. I would have loved to do Barfi, mm-hmm. Priyanka Chopra's role. I think it's very challenging, very nice, one of my favorite roles. <clears throat> In Nepali, I would have loved to do Moan, where Namrata has yeah. done that job beautifully. And uh, Hollywood, <clears throat> I think I would have loved to do The Notebook. I think that would be a film that I haven't seen. Beautiful, beautiful role to do. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, what uh, what's the most expensive purchase that you've made? Recently or all my life? <laughs> um, the most memorable one that you can remember. Okay, the most memorable one is when I was still in college and I went to LA <clears throat> for a seminar and I only had $200 left. I still had three more days in LA and I saw these beautiful pair of shoes at Guess. And so it was basically buying that shoes or eating for three days and I picked the shoes. So that's that. How interesting it gets. <laughs> how, did, how did the next three days go? <laughs> my friends helped me. I didn't eat that much. <laughs> I ate a little bit. <laughs> We can see because she hasn't really been munching on her pizza at the moment. Yeah. Um, Alright, so who's your favorite Nepali banker? I don't know. Um, the only banker banker I really know closely is Anil Shah and Ravina Deshraj. And I'm very mm-hmm. close to both of them. And currently banking with Megabank as well. So um, <laughs> That yeah. was not a product placement, by the way. <laughs> so this is just coming out naturally. Basically, yeah. Um, what's Rekha Thapa really like? Oh, she's a lot of fun. She's a lot of spunk. She is carefree. She owns up to whatever she does. She's unapologetic. She loves the way she is and I think that's uh-huh. the best thing about her. Okay, so rate your acting out of 10. Okay, um, 6. 6, okay. What's your recent uh, embarrassing moment that you can share? Uh, recent embarrassing moment is when... Um, I don't don't remember. So Priyanka thought. I don't think I get embarrassed that easily. I just laugh it off. So have you ever had any um, accidents while performing on stage, tripped up, or something didn't work? Oh yeah, there was one incident when, like, when I was like dancing. You know how I get super jazzed up on stage when I'm dancing. So I accidentally flipped open my whole blouse from the back. Uh But then I was actually facing the back. My back was up to the crowd. So I was like, oopsies, and then I just went back, right back uh, from the exit, went back. So you stopped midway? Yeah, and then I left, and then I got it fixed, and then I came back again. So it happens. Like a pro. Um, (laughs) When was the last time you burped? Um, A few hours ago. (laughs) Was it a loud one? No, my burps are silent. Oh, okay. A classy burp, everyone. (laughs) So what were you doing when you received a text from me this morning? I was about to take a shower, I think. Alright. So um, if you can remember, name the winners of Miss Yuka Nepal till date. I don't think I can remember all of them. Okay, I name any that you can. Gomaya was one. Yeah. Nadina was one. Yeah. Last year's name is kind of funny. It starts with an N. N, yes. Nia. Nia, yeah. yeah. I always forget her name. Nia, yeah. All right, okay. So I know three. Okay. And the other uh, contestant is, um, I mean, the winner is uh, Durga Gurung. Oh, Durga Gurung, yeah. I know yeah. she went to Miss Nepal as well. She went she to Miss Nepal. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well done. Uh, the best thing about constantly flying on planes. Um, is I get me time, I get to catch up on movies, I get to live unbothered, which is the best part. Uh I get to sleep, I get to do whatever I want to do, I don't have to have makeup on, I don't get judged. So there's so many good things about being on a plane constantly. And the worst thing about flying on planes? Is you have to face constant jet lags and different time zones and it's very difficult to adjust to them. So I think that's the most difficult part. So have you ever been questioned by immigration authorities for longer than required? (laughs) No, not yet. Okay. A place you would like to visit again? Again? Um, why again? Why can't I name a place that I would want to visit that I haven't been to? Because I know you're going to say Paris. That's, <laughs> why I, that's why I didn't ask you that question. Okay, a place I would like to visit again. It's always New York. I think New York has this certain thing about it that always pulls me back. Okay, so London or New York? Um, New York. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> if you say US or UK, then it's UK. But if it's London or New York, then it's New York, I think. All right, okay. Fair play, fair play. So how many films have you acted in so far? Do you know the number? Because uh, she's done so many. That's I don't fine. know. But then, because I've had so many films with just the acting song or a special appearance and all uh-huh. that, so probably it's gone up to maybe 20, 21, around that. I feel like it might be more. Okay. Because any- even last year and this year, you did about 12 or 13. Really? Yeah. So by the time you're 40, how many films do you think you'll have done? <laughs> I don't know, but then if I can actually make a name in the guineas, then it would be something, right? Yes, yes, that would. Yeah. Um, so where do, you, where do you go when you need to relax? 
nowhere, and I just spend time with Sony and hope. Okay, and what's one thing that you need on set with you while you're shooting? My phone. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> I was gonna ask you another question, but anyways, <laughs> we'll get back to that. Okay. Uh, a book that has inspired you. Uh, Eat, pray, love. Eat. Okay. Um, uh, are you enjoying this pizza? Well, yeah. I forget to eat in between, but I I am enjoying it. <laughs> All right. I'll wait until then. Okay. okay, where's the best place to get pizza in Kathmandu? Fire nice. Fire nice. Classic. Um, when was the last time you took a temple? I did recently. When the blockage was happening, uh -huh. I was with my mom and we Which were was like in, half a year ago. Yeah, yeah. We were in New Road and we were trying to go back to Kukundo where my mom lives and we couldn't find a single cab. So my mom said, Yo la she gave me a mask, put it on, she gave me a shawl and put it on and we took the Sapa Temple. It was fun. It was Incredible. So once a year, you might find it. looking at me Kali. like, why is she covered so much, Khali? Well, I could see it in their faces. Like, no, they were like, they would look at me in a very weird way. <laughs> They've probably thought, oh my god, she might pass us something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so when was the last time you had chocolate on the road? I normally do that. Even if I don't go buy it personally, I yeah. ask someone to get it. But I really like chocolate and butter and bola uh -huh. and all that. Alright. So, yeah. Street like check. Yeah. So, um, what's the color of love? Color of love is. I don't know. I don't think it has any color. It's colorless. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> that was real quick. Over a pizza. And um, in school, in school, what do you dislike the most? In school, I think uh, you know I used to be like this night when I was a sweet bunny, the uh -huh. and I used to always have nail polish and gajal, and I used to always be scolded for it. But at the same time, I was a very good student as well. But I used to be judged for what I was. Uh -huh. So people used to think, "Hey, this not quality pizza, poor man, poor man." So utaudi and all that. Yeah. So I think that is one thing that uh, shouldn't be done. You know, uh -huh. people can be like equally interested in their looks and how they are, and in their education as well. So mm. yeah, that's good. Deep again. <laughs> <That's> deep, yeah. <laughs> so if you were a teacher, what would you teach? If I were a teacher, I would probably teach um, acting for the camera. Acting for the camera. Mm. Um, what's one cause that you deeply care about? Um, it has to be kids and animals, of course. Alright. If you could redo one of your films, which one would it be? If I could redo? Yeah. Like, go ahead and start shooting all over again? Yeah. Okay. I think I would do Funko. I would do it all over again. Okay. Um, yeah. If you could collaborate with any Nepali musician out there, who would it be? Um... There are many, but to name one, I think Ruth John Shetri. Great pick, great yeah, pick. Right, I love yeah. your music. Yeah. So what's the uh, what's the favorite part of your house or favorite room in your house? It's my closet. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite TV show of all time? Um, Sex and the City. Name a movie that made you cry. Um, the Notebook. I've watched it like a hundred times, I think. Oh, wow. Right now. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I don't know. I've never seen it, by the way. So yeah, what You should! It's such a beautiful film. It I'm is. not into all that emotional drama and it's, stuff. It's, it's, it'll show you the color of love, trust me. Go it, which is colorless! <laughs> which, which Priyanka said is colorless, by the way. So yeah, I feel like she's just being sarcastic to me the whole entire Q&A. Alright, um, what, uh, what Disney character would you be? Um, Cinderella. Okay, what's your favorite Britney Spears song? There's too many, but it has to be Hit Me Baby one more time. Alright. Um, the most used app on your phone? Recent days, it's there's a tie between Snapchat and Instagram, I think. Okay. And you can follow Priyanka Karki on um, Instagram and Snapchat. Your handle is Priyanka.Karki on Instagram. Yes. And in Priyanka Snapchat Karki, it is... Priyanka Karki. Oh, Priyanka Karki. Yeah, on Snapchat. There you have it. Um, how many times do you charge your phone in a day? Four to five. I and carry a portable charger with yeah, me all the a, time. A really bulky one, yeah. by the way. That's why I was really laughing with our phone conversations. Um, and when was the last time you pretended to know someone? <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's better than telling them, like, excuse me, who are you? You know, you pretend for a while and then it's, there's a big possibility you'll never see them again. So a little bit of happiness for them. That's great. So what do you think of before going to sleep? I think of so many things. Um, basically when I go to sleep is when my brain is working the most, I think. Uh -huh. So I think of the releases that, but it's always related to work, always. Uh -huh. Like, Miris, I think the biggest problem in me, I don't even think it's a problem, I think it's a good thing, is okay, so now I'll go to Visa, then after I'm doing that, I'm going back and I'm shooting again, and, and then what? Yeah. And I think 
think it's good in a way because it always keeps you up and you're always working constantly. So. so my question next is, do you invite work or does work find its way to you? I think we have a pretty decent collaboration with each other. That's, that's a smart girl there. <laughs> and um, okay, so how's the Nepali cinema industry really like? Oh, it's beautiful right now. It's beautiful, it's growing. There's so many young people, talented people who are doing different kind of cinema, different things. Some out of fashion, some just because they think there's nothing else to do in life, but for their own reasons. <laughs> uh -huh. And people who really want it and who are really actively working it are actually helping it grow. And those are the people that we cherish so much in the industry. Okay, which director would you like to work with from Nepal? Uh, one that I haven't worked with. Yeah. I would really love to work with Alibi, but he's yeah not here anymore. But we were planning it as well, and uh -huh. it's sad. Yeah. One okay. thing that I missed out in the office. Okay. What's your favorite Alok Nimban video music video? And um, I know you've worked with him through music so videos many times, and so many yeah. times as well. Yeah. I think. But my first uh, video that I did was with him was Kinga Bachelli. Yeah. Uh, film with with Udit Nani. With Udit Nani, that was song Udit Nani. Uh -huh. I think that is one of the most beautiful videos that I've done to date, and that was directed by him. Okay. Um. So when, oh, okay, I've already got this question. I think I've run out of questions. Are we almost at the end? <laughs> yeah, that's it. This can't end. Okay, but anyways, I will have to ask more questions to Priyanka. Some like, um, some questions to, you know, where I'm going to take my time. And hopefully we're going to speak Nepali because I know that a lot of you will be mad. I mean, Nepali is not going to be mad. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say So let's speak in Nepali for a okay. while. Um, uh, social media ko chulo platform sa uh, in terms of uh, our Nepali population aru and um, you know useful information aru then by the disseminate karna ko lagi. And tapay ko sa lagsa, yuta kalakar, yuta actress ba ira. Tapay acting kay bale ma, ra film industry ko bale ma matra ilikna ya awareness paila mo sa hanu unsa ki ki social media ra Nepali celebrities are the thing. Unar ko art, passion, entertainment by ante. Voice pani chalaunu yeah. parcha so lagcha. I don't know if that question makes sense. I know it makes sense. I think chalaunu yeah. parcha. Aapno yeah. field, aapno profession tyo aapno thoma cha. Tesko lagi tapai la jati pani publicity time cha, let's say film release hudai cha or event hudai cha, tapai travel gardi hudai cha, tyo definitely share gari hale cha. Aba aapno eta page ho haina. Tara tyo bhanda pani aru kura haru share garnu parcha I think tara ekdam careful hunu parcha. Kinane mala chai ke lagcha bhane Nepal ma negativity ekdam dera cha. So, if you have a feel that you have a you will be judged so fast. So, if you have a personal view, you will be personal. So, if you have a you will be scared. So, if you have a feel that 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 I agree with that as well. Yes. Um, our question is saying, Tobi Zun Samaima Nepali film uh, industry to Nova, or Tobi with debut film, Zun saying, was it Mirror Best Friend? Yes. How was it Mirror Best Friend? The heat to Tobi the last release. Thank you. <laughs> My last release was How Funny. How Funny, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Mirror Best Friend, the heat, How Funny, some of you, um, you know, Yatra Ma, Kosto Halko changes or some Tobi feel one of the Personal changes they cost but as an actor with every film, obviously I'm grow they can come uh -huh. And with age when you mature they dance definitely. Yeah. And after profession my nick hari the dance and so I'm raw and mm -hmm. so so they could have thought. But then you're film got a bit of film got a comic on the Sudaji go to Sudaji go to Dick and Sikh dance or Sikh dance. So I some out that as an actor they very mature, they very responsible, um they really art and craft go by the daily knowledge rack so I some. But as an industry, it new one. It's a cow, cow, puny goes the last one on the child was the last one in 2012. They can start there, so I'm 16. So, it's a person that it's a very advanced industry. I think most say technological view. Mm -hmm. Camera work, camera operation, it's a vast jump leap. And apart from that, I'm storytelling vision, different ideas, concepts. So, you're a dog, it's in a camera. Mm -hmm. Japan experiment, just to story my film, one of the pair. Tahitu, 
commercially successful host na host so i think two ways ma chain art ekdam bodi ko sakai na dance ma and to ekdam ramro ho bhabela chain kasto khalko role chain play garnu mansa aba future ma chain future ma bhanda pani ma asti bhakai pani yahi eva discussion gari rahe thiye this is as filmmaker sang ani mero show reel banaudai thiye ke maile just ali samako films ko ani nimesh is one of the very finest editors in the world and he asked me la chike sa timro mala hale la jole hale suntali hale laila madala hale sa era normal role bhako film chai na just normal girl just decent love parne college jane yeah and then i was thinking and i really didn't have it right okay it's always extremes ke tai ek dam bacha modmati ko ama gari se prostitute gari suntali is overly exaggerated character then mala ma there's a bhoot and all that yeah So then for now for me now I really want to do a very simple film that has just a simple back story simple uh-huh. love story where I can just be a simple normal girl. I right. haven't done a film like that. <laughs> so directors out there to make us <laughs> out there and if you hear all Priyanka wants is a simple role you know it's a seedha sada ke call is for ne tempo or ne number 2 to take hand. Oh who doesn't have ekdam yeah. really baggage and problems in life. Titti baba ibara. नमिलाइ अब एक प्रकार को चित्त अलग दुखी आई मर एट दी एंड अफ द डे तब को काम यदि एप्रिशिएट भैर अमो गयो हई हमें तो फिल्म को ये धीरे एस्पेक्ट्स में झन गुड प्लेसेस पाए आई एक्चुअली इवन गट फाइव अवर्ड्स फ्रम दैट फ्रम दैट इयर बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस को है आपको काम एप्रिशिएट भैर एंड एवरीबडी न्यू सुंदरी भाई फिल्म है हम लाइक द बिगेस्ट ब्लेसिंग वर्ड हमी नाइन्टीन दुसान फिल्म फेस्टिवल में वी प्रेमियर ओवर दर हम फिल्म वोज प्रेमियर दर फिल्मी <laughs> Yeah. So that's always going to be with me and especially other knowing that it was called Suntali and I was Suntali. Yeah. I think it's the best thing ever. Yeah, I hope uh tapai le film hernu bhayeko chaina bhane mauka paunu bhane ne Suntali chain euta film jun chain Priyanka Kargi ko pakka hernai parne film ho. Thank you. And I think tyo film ma Priyanka Kargi ko character ra real life ko personality pani halka. Similar nai cha. So she's not that evil by the way. Your film ma chain alikati evil nai hunu chai. Um so that is recommended amongst many other films which is now also online so um uh, good opportunities to watch nepali films and uh, lucky do we have any questions from people oh it's quite a lot here yeah. oh, it's okay. just going on and on and on, and oh. on so. how about i just check from here yeah okay we are going to going to be here. i will just pick out the best <clears throat> questions and i will answer them according to my comfort zone okay modi okay, guys <laughs> be nice guys <laughs> Okay. Uh Where is Can you scroll? Um hi Pri. Wow, you are hot. Oh, thanks. Okay, I'm going to just Hi Pri. Love you Priyanka. Oh, thank you. Hold on. Let's Where's the question? Page. No, there are no questions there. They're just general comments like you're hot and you're beautiful and stuff like that. I think they <laughs> They, they were listening to the answer. It's like, what what makes you happy? And it's a compliments. I know yeah. they went like they were like so serious with it. Oh wow! I don't think anybody has any question as of yet. <coughs> okay, that's strange. Well, I'll ask. Uh, I'll continue asking questions. Um, but we started with that. If you have a key memory, then I just somehow like you know. Oh, I have a very like, interesting question. All right, go on. Let's ask her. Ugly and live forever, or attractive and die in a year. Which one would you choose, Jay? Oh my god. I know. What would you answer? Okay, I would answer ugly and live forever and then become so rich that I would do plastic surgery and then I would become attractive. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> This just opened so many 
avenues <laughs> for one to get attacked. <laughs> but anyways, handle it like a pro and honest answer. So I have another question which um, I remember somebody sent on Instagram, which was um, the growth of beauty industry in Nepal in the past few years and with the help of social media has really boomed. And also the growth of beauty pageants, which has been growing for a while. Oh, what do you think that does to uh, young girls or women in general? Because to an extent that does shape an idea of what a girl or what a woman should be like. Mm -hmm. Do you think that um, objectification of women um, is going to hamper young people's thoughts? No, I think of course it does. It already has, I think. I have younger um, siblings in the family, which is 13, 14, 15, who have pressure of having to be thin, size 0 or size 1 or size 2, wearing makeup, fake eyelashes, theatre person, and I didn't even know what eyelashes meant. Yeah. So I think there is a constant pressure in the society right now. But I think for young girls, what I would like to say is the most important key of being happy is to be comfortable in your own skin. I think nobody's going to force you to do anything that you don't want to do in life. So if you want to be that girl who has heavy makeup on and wears eye eyelashes and heels and dresses and I don't know, pays so much attention to how you look, or if you want to be that girl who just wakes up and go to school, it doesn't matter. I don't think it really matters. I mean, it's who you are, what makes you happy, what you're comfortable in. Society should not tell you what you should become. I think it's a choice that you make from within you. That's how it should be, I think. That's a great answer. I hope that reaches out to all you. the you know people out there who might feel like you know they should follow a certain trend or a certain thing, but no, you know just you don't. just think of yourself as you're the trendsetter and yeah. you know do it, kill it, own it. And um, before we go, if there's any questions, then fire away. Otherwise, I think we should wrap up because the pizza is getting cold, <laughs> and we have to concentrate and eat. Okay, let me see. Questions, come on, refresh. I actually don't know how to work this thing, otherwise I would ask from here. Okay, there's 85 comments on my page. I don't think I can answer all 85, but... Wait, let me answer it. Let Chicken or egg first, Jay. Okay, here. That's Insta. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Those are filled with questions. Who is your inspiration? Um, inspiration? It has to be my mother, I think. She lets me be. Nothing is more inspiring than that. Um, what character was the toughest for you to do in any films that you've done? I think one of the most difficult roles was Mala, where I was playing basically a ghost and I had no reference to look up to or go and talk to anybody, say, hey, how does it feel to be a ghost? So um, I just had to create the character myself and that was difficult, mm -hmm. I think. Have you done any acting classes in, in the past? I went to film school, graduated with a degree in acting and directing, so yeah. And this was from? From America. From America, yeah. Um, have you ever faced failure on certain things? If yes, then how do you get your life together and keep on moving? Oh, I've faced failures in so many things. I do it every day, just like you guys do it. But it's just a matter of not letting failure win you over. I think it's a matter of defeating failure by yourself. So you can look at it as a learning process, or you can look at it like, oopsies, uh, never mind, I'll try again. Or you can just pick yourself up and say, oh, it's a bad thing that happened in life and I've got to move on. I think nothing is bigger than your head, your brain. So you convince yourself about how you want life to be like. So then nothing gets to you, I think. That's how it should be. All right. So which one is your favorite football team, if you have any? I don't really follow football, so I don't know if I have a favorite team. Okay, that's fine. Same. Yeah. Um, so I think that this is my cousin. He says, Priyanka Karaki, can we get married tonight at Facebook Live with Lex Singhu? I get married to him. Yeah. <laughs> what What are the perks that I get after marriage? All right. So you know where to reply. That's Priyanka Karki's <laughs> Instagram. Um, so where do you get all the energy to be so workaholic and travel that often? Don't you feel worn out? I feel like I know the answer, but go ahead. Keep it short. <laughs> no, this is this is who I am basically. So yeah. it's a dream job, and I am living a dream job. So this is my happy place. All right. Um, well, the chances may be on low side, but suddenly, if one day you got the chance to meet me as a person in real, which is Sushil, okay. um, how would you react? Oh, wow. This Do you have six packs? <laughs> 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 Great one, Sushil. <laughs> yeah. Priyanka would be uh, flabbergasted. Yeah. Um, so be yeah. all over your packs if you had them. What is one ideal thing that you would look for in a partner? Um, appreciation of what I do and who I am. 
That is the only thing. Great. Thank you so much, Bianca Karki. Is, is there anything else that you want to add or share? Um, no, I think it's fun. Uh, you people got to know me a little closer, and that was very genuine, honest me. I'm basically like this on my everyday life, and I am also just a human, and humans make mistakes. So. Um, I have one last question before yeah. I let her go. My last question is. She didn't answer the first question, which was, which country do you, does she prefer, U.S. or America? Let's get to the bottom of this. Uh, uh, neither of them. I like the United States. Great. <laughs> there we have it. This was Pizza with Priyanka Karki. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Good night, guys.